Thank you for attending this announcement by Ethiopian Airlines and the Boeing Company. I'm Gordon Chandra, Vice President of Communications for the Boeing Company. Uh, before I introduce uh, the group here before us, I'd like to recognize Otto Tilbalde Gabramarian, Group CEO of Ethiopian Airlines. And now, our guest today up front, Otto Mesten, Chief Operating Officer of Ethiopian Airlines, Ted Colbert, President and Chief Executive Officer of Boeing Global Services, and Omar Erika, Vice President of Commercial Sales and Marketing for the Middle East, Africa, and Turkey at the Boeing Company. The announcement will be followed by a signing ceremony and photo opportunity. Uh, may I now invite uh, Mr. Ted Colbert to share remarks from Boeing. Thank you, Gordon. Good afternoon and welcome all. Thank you for joining us here today. I want to extend a special welcome to Atto Zwaldi for being here with us and Atto Messner. Thank you. And the whole Ethiopian Airlines team. And to all of our guests, welcome. Before I begin, I want to once again extend our heartfelt condolences for the lives lost and the families that have been forever impacted by the Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302, that and the Lion Air accident continue to weigh heavily on all of the Boeing family around the world. Today, we're here to announce an agreement that we have reached with Ethiopian Airlines to improve connectivity on board the Airline 787 Dreamliner fleet. As many of you know, we have had a strong relationship and successful partnership with Ethiopian Airlines, one that began more than 70 years ago when the airline began commercial service with the five C-47 Skytrains. Since then, Ethiopia has operated many Boeing airplanes, including 737, 767, 777, and 787 families. Ethiopian was one of the launch customers for the 787 Dreamliner and the first in Africa to operate the super efficient and passenger pleasing jet. With our new agreement, it will further improve the passenger experience with regard to connectivity. Boeing will implement retrofit connectivity solutions for Ethiopian's entire 787 fleet. Our team will provide engineering design and project management for this modification, along with on-site technical assistance and training for Ethiopian's in-house MRO services team. Further, supporting the modification implementation and their airline's MRO capabilities. We look forward to supporting Ethiopian and working together to further strengthen the aviation industry across this continent and across the globe. I'll tell this. <clears throat> Uh, thank you very much, uh, our guests. Thank you for coming. As Ted uh, indicated, uh, we are going to sign an agreement uh, with Boeing to provide internet connectivity service for uh, our Boeing 787 fleet. It will uh, include 29 aircraft. Uh, we want these airplanes to be equipped with the latest uh, technology internet service. Uh, this is a continuation of our uh, long-term strategic partnership between uh, Boeing and Ethiopia Airlines. Uh, uh, we would like to thank Boeing for giving us this service. Uh, we expect this project to be completed in 20. As Ted indicated, uh, this is not only a, provi a provision of internet connectivity service, uh, as part of it, uh, there will be technology and skill transfer from Boeing to Japan Airlines, particularly in the aircraft modification uh, activities. Uh, and uh, providing internet service on the 787 is a continuation of our uh, uh, desire interest to improve our uh, customer service. Uh, for your information, today uh, we provide uh, this service on uh, another model of aircraft, uh, and uh, we are modifying the Boeing 777 aircraft to start this service, uh, the internet uh, connectivity service very soon 
So the seven and seven would be the third aircraft model of which we will be providing the service to our customers. Once again, we would like to thank Boeing uh, for providing the service. Can I show up to sign the agreements?